Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Glory to Jesus. Let's give him praise. Hallelujah. We're going to pray. But to set the atmosphere, we're going to give him all the glory. We worship him this afternoon, for he is worthy, worthy to be praised. You are Alpha and Omega. We worship you, O Lord. You are worthy to be praised. You are Alpha and Omega. We worship you, O Lord. You the job Lord when you open the doors Lord when you make a way when there seems to be no way when you make it possible Lord when we cannot see the ending when we cannot imagine the outcome Lord you are worthy that's why we call you Alpha and Omega for this afternoon, we remember that you are the one who opens doors that no man can shut. And when you shut doors, no man opens them. Not in front of your face, not behind your back. No, Lord. We give you Lord, we give it to you. 
we open our mouths to you, Lord. We publicly declare you, Lord. We declare you on whatever platform we are. Even if we don't have a platform, we will always magnify you. For we know where you've taken us from. For we know who you are to us, Lord. Oh, the Bible says we are not ashamed of the gospel of Christ. For it is the power of God unto salvation to all those who believe. Lord God, we are not ashamed to proclaim you. We are not ashamed to call the name of Jesus Christ of Nazareth for we have proven for ourselves that there is redemptive power in his name we have proven it over and over again that restoration is in his name we have proven it time and time again that there is deliverance in his name over and over again you satisfy us with good things you save save us Lord you are our strong tower in which we find refuge and safety. Lord, you are our shield and buckler. You are the horn of our salvation. You are our truth. You are our exceedingly great reward. Father, you are everything we need and more. You are the husbandman to the widow, the husbandman to the singles. You are Father to the fatherless. Lord, who is like you? There is absolutely none. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. The heavens declare your glory and the firmament your handiworks. Lord, night after night and day after day uttereth speech. The sun speaks. The moon speaks. The stars speak. They give you worship because they know who their creator is. Lord, when you send one to go and settle at one place, he goes, he responds. Father, the sea responds to you. The sand knows its boundaries. Lord, continents know where they belong. Islands know where they belong. Unless you give the command to the sea, they will remain fixed in their position. Lord, you have made boundaries for nations and peoples. You have divided us according to your own wisdom and power. Father, you have sent some to the north, some to the south, some to the west, and some to the east. Father, seven continents there are, and you have populated them with different races, different ethnicities. Oh, Father, who is like you? Whose idea was it to create the birds of the air, the fish of the sea? Whose idea was it to create every creeping, crawling creature and to present them before Adam, saying unto Adam, name them. And the Bible says, whatsoever Adam called them, that was their name. Oh, Father, who is like you? For out of the dust of the ground, you formed man and you blew into him the breath of life a miracle that is not repeated it cannot be not even satan can do it he has no idea how it was performed he can't even think of it he can't even fathom it lord god the greatest miracles we have ever seen earth has ever seen were performed sometimes not by your hands but by your powerful word Oh, Father, oh, Father, for the Bible says that in the beginning, oh, glory to God, the earth was without form and it was void. But then the word of God says, and God blew and he moved upon the face of the waters. Father, you did not even have to speak at times. You just imagined the thing and it was realized. You just thought of the thing and it became manifest. What? a mighty, mighty God we serve. Angels bow before him. Heaven and earth adore him. What a mighty, mighty, precious God. What an awesome, awesome, amazing God he is. Family, as we enter this time of prayer, I tell you the truth. 
when I pray before the living God, it is so hard for me to focus on the camera because when I pray to him, I ain't praying to man. And so if you're wondering why my eyes are closed, it's because I concentrate better this way. I'm still right here. Do not be distracted or deterred because my eyes are closed. But I pray unto the Father and not unto man. And so if you want to intercede with me, feel free to position yourselves in the manner in which you usually do when you pray before the living God. But I'm about to tap into realms and dimensions. Hallelujah. When you think of the goodness of God, Rado Soto, when you reflect on all the battles he has won for you, Rebebe and Okoshataya, when you reflect on the victories, Rekata Nanamo Shandia, when you reflect on the breakthroughs, Rokushata Ramanda Kasandai, with a strong arm, he has delivered so many. Redo Soto Shanda Bahai. On eagle's wings, he has rescued and delivered so many. Katananama Shataya. How can we sit still? How can we keep silence before you, Lord God? After all you have done. And yeah, Kashanda, we are very much aware that even now as we speak, there are so many battles that you are right now fighting for us which we know not about oh father you are interceding lord jesus you are in your office as great high priest as the advocate for the saints and you are speaking and countering the arguments of the enemy father how can we sit still and not praise you how can we be silent how can we be ungrateful how can we not open up our mouths and shout oh glory to God hallelujah in the atmosphere how can we not proclaim your goodness how can we not tell the world about it oh father if when we suffer we complain and our voices are heard aloud oh if when things aren't going right people can hear our complaints and murmurings father if we can open up our mouths to murmur and open up our mouths to speak all those things that are against your will or oh, glory to God and to speak as though we have no faith how much more shall we open our mouths having one because of you how much more shall we open our mouths and give you glory honor and praise Lord we will praise you in the country we will praise you in the city we will praise you in the field we will praise you when we are empty we will praise you when we are full we will praise you when we're in the crowd we will praise you when we are alone we will praise you when we are up we will praise you when we are down we will praise you with aches in our bones we will praise you oh father irrespective of our circumstances irrespective of our realities we will praise you God because you have taken us through worse times we will magnify the Lord we will reflect on his goodness come taste and see that the Lord is good oh father we magnify you this morning I will bless the Lord at all times and his praise shall continually be in my mouth oh hallelujah you are worthy Jehovah you are wonderful Jehovah you are mighty you are strong you are dependable yes you are reliable when everybody else fails you never fail you are faithful concerning your covenants and promises you do not break them Lord so father 
we give you all the glory. We appreciate you for being our confidant. We thank you for being our best friend. We thank you for being our secret keeper, our burden bearer. We thank you for being our spirit lifter and not to mention the lifter up of our heads. We thank you, Father, for continually pouring oil upon us so that our cups run over. We thank you for replenishing us with your power. We thank you for adding grace upon grace upon those who proclaim your name on a day-to-day -day basis. Oh, Father, we thank you, Lord God. You are wonderful. You are wonderful. Raise your hands all over. Raise your hands. Raise your hands all over this room. Begin to raise your hands. Begin to raise them. Begin to raise them. Hallelujah. 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 What a friend we have in Jesus. All our sins and griefs to bear. What a privilege it is to carry everything, everything, everything to God in prayer. Everything. Someone say everything. Everything. Hallelujah. Hadalabashata. Orabasata. For a moment, I sat and I, I realized that the enemy was trying to have discouragement creep in. And y'all know that in those moments, if you're not careful, your spirit will become very quiet. And not just quiet, but also confounded to an extent. I believe it was my flesh that was yielding to that feeling of discouragement. Because not long after it crept in, my spirit man started to pray on the inside and started to do what it does best in moments such as this. And so as we enter that time of prayer, I wanna say to you, that if the enemy is trying to weigh you down with discouraging thoughts, if he has been ministering lies to you, if he has been presenting to you not the full truth, because if it's not the full truth, it's, it's a lie. I want you to begin to shake him off and I want you to draw out your weapon of praise, prayer, and worship. Knowing that he came to steal, kill, and destroy. And we will not have it. Tell two people, we will not have it. In the name of Jesus Christ. Say to someone, I will not have it. I will not settle for these lying thoughts, I will not settle or negotiate with the enemy on anything that was meant to discourage my spirit. I will not settle. I refuse to settle in the name of Jesus Christ of Nazareth. So we're going to pray. We're going to pray. May I invite you to 
get on your knees. Is that okay? I want to invite you to get on your knees. I probably should get on mine. So let me see how I'm going to do this. I'm going to have to move this out the way and I'll also have to lower the cameras, but I feel like the posture we should assume right now is that of kneeling. Someone says, I'm on my knees. Very good. That person is already on her knees. Thanks be to God. Thank you, Jesus. Hallelujah. Thank you, Jesus. And if you're just joining, as I do this, you're welcome to hit that share button that is just below the video. By doing so, you'll allow someone to benefit from the holy words, the powerful yoke-breaking words that shall come forth, hallelujah, in this atmosphere. Glory to God. Hallelujah. So I want to kneel. Just putting this table aside for a moment. And I'm going to lower these because I want to kneel with you. I just need to dress back. Do I? You can see me. You can, right? Hallelujah. Mic check. Mic check. I think I need to lower this some more. Give me one second, family. Amazing. Hallelujah. Those of you who are filled with the Holy Ghost already, at this moment, I'm going to invite you to speak to your Father in your heavenly language as the Holy Ghost gives you utterance. The Bible says that when you pray in tongues, you build your spirit, man. But know also that when you pray in tongues, 
you speak directly unto the Father. Not even the enemy knows what you're saying. The information that is exchanged stays between just you and the Father in that moment when you speak in tongues. So please allow me for a moment to speak to the Father in tongues. And no, this is not the kind of tongues to be interpreted in a corporate setting. We're all praying in tongues to the Lord. We're all telling him gracious words that come to our hearts in our heavenly language. Hallelujah. Right where you are. Just open up your spirit. If you're cooking, you're prayer cooking. If you're sweeping, you'll be prayer sweeping. If you're cleaning at home because it's a Sunday afternoon, you'll be prayer cleaning right now. Sanana. If you cannot kneel because you're in the kitchen, that's okay. Just be prayerful. Katushana and Kosha. Yozodo Radoho Shandamando Kose. Yomana Shando Kato Radaha Sataya. Yoke shondi andi katu sarohondi andai. Yerolo satu shanando koshe kananando ko satatai. Yerolo sondi riato shandere bahanda katush kiandai. Yemonando koshiende. Yumunianda katusa. Yuminiando kate raha. Yuminiando kasu brahandia. You pravin da kushanda nanta. You pravush katushki enda kata. You pravo shanda da kusharaha. You pravin da koshi enda la kosanda. You makushana na kusere lehendo roho shanda. You pravo kiaroro soto. If you are not yet filled with the Holy Ghost. If you want to whisper the name of Jesus in the interim, that's fine. If you want to whisper under your breath the blood of Jesus Christ, that's fine. But open up your mouth. Katara masataya. Open your mouth. Kanana namashata. Yirosoti ramahanda rabo shandaralahai. Yeko sariamande kashete. Yeku sariama serio shenanana na kusha tai. Sanana kusha hai. See yourself causing diabolical things above you to be scattered. See your words piercing through canopies above you in the spirit. Hallelujah. See the power of God staining your words right now. Kasurehe. Yeroho shenana mahando koshatarai. Yenanana kushatariya bahandere kato sharahai. Yeroro sando kushondo kori bahanda kataya. Yadala muskiario ho shendere bahandia. Yerelele kosoto riamanda kapi rahandai. Siro tia rahandiri katanda rashoto. You kandala boko shienda la huskia rahandia. Yodelele kosoto ribando koshandiriata. Yudiri esoto ramande kalushki arabahandia. 
Yeso profianda propriquiendo cosa profia rupri pri katu sheblende di otiaria nanuski aproveke na kusha li katuski ende le degitushke le kendo koshi anda rabishkita sidala doshi ande de katu shelelengo do kotoshi anda madi shato si keli kando kiara la kotanda kato Mali kushata na kiseki la lauskia, le diorio sekeha, yele kiaya, yele ki andia, yele le koso pravia, yele oshi endala lota, madushka do lo husketa hai, maririosa prava manda katuri abando koshaya, rodo shendo do lo kushanda, robo sikende. Let out of Bahia, the Lord is my shepherd. I shall not want. He maketh me to lie down in green pastures. He leadeth me beside still waters. He restoreth my soul. He leadeth me in the path of righteousness for his name's sake. Yeah, though I walk through the valley of the shadow of death, I will fear no evil. Absolutely no evil. There shall be no fear toward any evil. Hallelujah. Emphatically speaking, there shall be no fear fear for any kind of evil, not the evil of man, not the evil of the adversary, not the evil of Satan. We will fear no evil for thou art with us, O God. Your rod and your staff, they comfort your people. Thou preparest a table before us in the very presence of our enemies. Thou anointest our heads with oil or run over Lord surely goodness and mercy shall follow your people all the days of our lives father all the days of our lives not just now not just in this season not just in this month not just in this atmosphere Lord hallelujah goodness and mercy shall follow us hallelujah all the days of our lives father and we shall dwell in your house oh forever 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 mighty god forever matchless god hallelujah forever 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 and so even now lord god almighty hallelujah even now we present to you every concern every burden every matter that troubles our spirits everything father that is heavy on our minds we lay them at your feet right now i want to see you symbolically lay lay your problems at his feet right now lay your burdens at his feet right now lay your concerns at his feet right now in fact if i were you i would cast them there because that is the instruction that we were given not even to lay them there but also to cast them so let us cast our cares on him even now let's cast those things that frustrate us let's cast those things that weigh heavily on our hearts let's cast them at the feet of jesus christ of nazareth he says take my burden upon you for my burden is easy and my yoke he said it's light hallelujah whichever way it goes hallelujah we want to thank him hallelujah for giving us the opportunity hallelujah to take of his and to give unto him him what is ours oh glory to his name so father in the name of jesus christ of nazareth we offload at your feet right now all things that were given to us by the adversary lord every lie he gave us every argument that counters your will and purpose for our lives father we lay those things at your feet right now 
now in the name of Jesus Christ of Nazareth. Every negative utterance that he has released through the mouths of people, both the ones we know as well as those we don't know concerning our lives or purpose, right now we lay them at your feet in the name of Jesus Christ of Nazareth. Every report from the doctors, the report of arthritis, we lay at his feet. The report of schizophrenia, we lay at his feet. The report of memory loss, we lay at his feet. The report of complexities in pregnancy, we lay at his feet. Every report of autism, we lay at his feet. Every report of jaundice, we lay at his feet. Every report right now of spinal issues, we lay at his feet. Every report of heart conditions, we lay at his feet. Every lung condition, every congestion issue, every breathing issue, we lay at his feet. Every belly issue, every back issue, oh, we lay at his feet. Every issue with the womb, we lay at his feet. Oh, glory to your name. Every bone condition, every blood condition, oh, Father, we lay them at your feet. Every eye condition, every nose condition, every mouth condition, every teeth condition, every tongue condition, we lay at your feet. Every condition with our hearing, we lay at your feet. Every brain condition, every tumor condition, oh, every cyst condition, we lay at your feet. Every cancer condition, leukemia, we name, we lay those things, Lord, at your feet this morning in the name of Jesus Christ of Nazareth. Every expiration he has placed on our lives, we lay those things too at your feet. Who says we're going to die? Who says that our lives shall be short? Who says they shall be cut short because of what someone thinks and because someone doesn't like us or because someone despises us? Ah, the devil is a liar, for we shall see the grave at our appointed time. And so we lay at your feet every short term, ah, cutting off of our lives. We lay at your feet every expiration and every death sentence that was pronounced over our lives by any Jezebel or Ahab in the name of Jesus, Sanballat and Tobiah and all those various spirits with which people operate today. Right now in the name of Jesus, we lay those things at your feet. Someone say we lay them. We lay. We lay. We lay. We lay at your feet. We lay at your feet. The reports that he gave saying that you will be delayed and that you will be denied. The reports that he has caused you to hear that you'll be disapproved, rejected, disappointed. Tell him, we lay those two. We lay them at your feet, Lord. We lay them at your feet in the name of Jesus Christ of Nazareth. I want you to name all your issues and concerns right now. Now is the time when we are offloading. Now is the time when we are shedding. Now is the time when we are transferring weight. Because truth be told, some of the weight that we have been trying to carry, it is impossible for us to carry them alone. The suicidal thoughts we lay at his feet. The depression we lay at his feet. The discouragement we lay at his feet. Everything that bothers you. 
everything that troubles you. We lay. We lay. At his feet. The bills issue. The landlord issue. The rent issue. The mortgage issue. We lay at your feet. The student loan issue. The tuition issue. We lay at your feet. The car payment issue. The insurance issue. The accident issue. We lay at your feet. Halalabosata. Masoto ranaku shakadabai piano. Roto soroku shandava kataya. The contract issue. The pharmacy issue. The medicine issue. The x ray issue. The MRI issue. The surgery issue. Shata nano shatakataya. We lay katu shanama koto. Rutu shataya. We lay keterende keta. At your feet. Hallelujah. The marriage issue. The husband issue. The wife issue. The baby issue. We lay at your feet. The brother issue. The sister issue. The nephew issue. The auntie nasoto issue. We lay at your feet. Hallelujah. The professor issue, the teacher issue, the lecturer issue, the tutor issue. Hey, the church issue, kotosoto, we lay katanama totosha at your feet, katanamako. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. The witchcraft issue, the necromancy issue, the sorcery issue, the divination issue, kanana masataya, the obia issue, koto sadalahandai, nana nashaya, the softness issue, rokoshata, the backwardness issue, koto shekete, the regressive issue, rekatana nakushaya, we lay Namato at your feet, Eto Shanamanda. In the name of Jesus Christ of Nazareth. The mother is you. The father is you. The daughter is you. The son is you. We lay. We lay. We lay a cote, we lay a cosheke, we lay keta at your feet. The dream is you, the vision is your locoshanana, the revelation is your rocoseke, the funeral is your rocosotomanda kato. Ruku shekede keta, we lay laku shatanda at your feet, ekana kasoto. In the name of Jesus, in the name of Jesus Christ of Nazareth, we lay at your feet, O Ramahanda. The relocation issue. The moving issue, oh katata nana kushata. The traveling issue, katana namo shataya. Rokoshan, the living issue, rotushan nerebe enirieto. The praying issue, rotoshan nana. 
The fasting is shonana koto salabo kianda. Yerodo soto shienda manda koto shaya. The fleshly issues, rokoto shende, we place them at your feet. At your feet. At your feet. At your feet. In the name of Jesus Christ of Nazareth. If you are strong enough to carry them, then keep carrying them. But if you've come to that place where you recognize that the burdens you carry are way too much for you, then if I were you, I would begin to toss and cast those burdens at the feet of Jesus Christ of Nazareth. <laughs> the illiteracy issue where you're saying, God, you do know that I can't read, I can't write. You do know that I didn't go to school. You do know that I don't understand this message. You do know that I prefer when someone sends me voice note rather than write out these messages that I find difficult to read. Place them. We cast them at the feet of Jesus Christ of Nazareth. We cast them right at his feet in the name of Jesus Christ of Nazareth. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. And we say unto the Lord, Father, at your feet are all the various things that have weighed us down. And sometimes because we don't know exactly what to pray about. We just hand over the situation to the Holy Ghost. For he alone knows what is in the mind of God. He alone knows exactly how we ought to pray. So we trust him. And as we put all these things at your feet, we say unto you, Lord, open up the windows of heaven even now and release solutions unto your people. Answers and solutions right now. Answers. Answers, kasatai. Instructions, katosiketai. Let them come down, rakusekararahandai. Clarity, rakana makoshaya. Understanding, keterinene endo koshende. Knowledge, rikaseketarina nakoshaya. Wisdom, rakusheketa nanamoko. Revelation, rakusata nanamaka. Concerning these issues, rekatataya. Rekoshanda rabosoto. Roko cause an appuring repende debe kataya. Respond with an appuring returu suta nanama handia. Yero shiera bahandi ketosia. Nanus kabruvia to shande katosiandia. Where your people are looking for answers. I, Shadeen Anglin, a servant of yours. I ask that today will be the day when answers will be given. Where your people are looking for solutions. I, Shadeen Anglin, I speak prophetically over their prayer requests, declaring that solutions shall come to them before the end of this week. You said unto Ezekiel, speak nano shoto. You said, can these dry bones live? Shatananda. You said you are the prophet. You open up your mouth and speak. You prophesy over them, Ezekiel. You open your mouth. That's why I gave it to you. 
You said prophesy over these dry bones. And so, Father, I prophesy over all these concerns that we have cast at your feet that there shall be solutions provided, answers given. There shall be responses in the heavens. Rado Soto Rama, responses from you. And there shall be no obstruction in the second heavens. In the name of Jesus Christ of Nazareth, the powers and mights, the princes and rulers that operate in the territories in which we are living shall have no dominion no opportunity to stop and intercept the release of these things that we are waiting for in the name of Jesus Christ of Nazareth I command that the passage of release be free in the name of Jesus be without obstruction be without interception be without diabolical interference be without terrestrial interference in the name of Jesus Christ of Nazareth Hallelujah. So we thank you, Lord. We thank you that someone will know before the week shall come to an end. Someone will know. Someone will get the call. Someone will get the email. Someone shall receive the response. Someone shall get the mail they're waiting for. Before the week shall come to an end, someone shall get the direction needed. Someone shall get the instruction that they need. Someone shall get the clarity that they've been waiting for. Understanding shall return unto someone who was walking in foolishness. Knowledge shall come to someone who has been in a style of ignorance and also arrogance. I thank you, Lord. We thank you that someone will get the direction that they need maritally before the week shall come to an end. They will know that they know that they know what your heart says concerning the situation. And they will not be afraid any longer. They'll not be timid any longer. They will not second guess what they've heard in the spirit any longer. It shall happen before the week shall come to an end. Someone's question about whether or not to remain where they work shall be answered before the week shall come to an end. Someone's question pertaining to whether or not they should, should continue to worship where they are shall come to them before the week ends. The answer shall come clearly. And they shall know without a doubt, they shall know that it's you who have spoken. So Father, we thank you. We are leaving all of these concerns at your feet. We want nothing to do with them any further. Lord, we wash our hands in the spirit free of these things. We don't want them. We, we are leaving them at your feet. We are pulling them off us totally. We want nothing more to do with them, Father. We cannot handle them. We cannot contain them anymore. We have no capacity to bring them any further on this journey. So, Lord, we are saying unto you, we are washing our hands clean of these things. We're saying you handle them. You take care of them. You deal with these for us. You are the expert at handling multiple things at once and being extremely successful too. So Father, from now on, we're walking away from these things that are at your feet and we walk away with an attitude of expectancy because that's what we're looking for now. 
we're looking for the answers and the solutions. We will no longer replay the thing on our minds and in our hearts. It's too much. So Father, we give it all to you and we say, have your way. And we shall listen intently to hear from you. And we shall open our eyes widely to see from your perspective, Lord, in the mighty precious name of Jesus Christ of Nazareth. We pray, we pray, and we all say, we agree, we agree. We agree with each other's prayers, Lord. We agree. Knowing that when two of us touch and agree on earth, that the thing shall be done. So we agree. We agree, Lord, with each other's prayers in the name of Jesus Christ of Nazareth. We hand over these matters to the one who is able to do exceedingly abundantly above all we could ever ask, think, or imagine to the more than capable one to the more than enough one, to the ever loving, ever faithful one. We give you all the glory, honor, and praise in Jesus' mighty precious name. Amen and amen. We have left them. We're saying goodbye to these concerns. As of now, we're just looking now for answers answers in Jesus name answers God bless you family have a wonderful rest of the day as we anticipate solutions and answers in Jesus name in Jesus name God bless you hallelujah